Hey y'all, it's me Vic here with Marine Max in San Antonio, Texas. And today I'm excited to bring you this all new 2024 Boston Whaler 250 Dauntless. Now it's been quite some time since we've had one of these here on the ground, especially after they redesigned the all new Dauntless series. But we finally have our first 250 Dauntless. If you are in the central or south Texas area and you are looking for the perfect inshore slash offshore hybrid center console, then look no further. The Dauntless series from Boston Whaler is going to be the perfect, most safest boat for you and your family. Now, I don't want to bore you with what you can already see, but just to run you through some of the key features on the outside, we have the light blue full side. We're going to have a white rub rail with the stainless steel insert. And to tie all that in back here, we have the Boston Whaler chrome badging. And then the heartbeat of this boat is going to be the Mercury Verado 300. This is a white motor. We got the advanced midsection on this motor. And then we have our Blade Series power pole right here on the back. And then additional Linko trim tabs. Now let's go ahead, jump inside, and show you some of the super cool features that this 250 Dauntless is sporting. Hey everybody, so now that we're inside the Dauntless 250, I wanna go ahead and show you some of the cool features that make this boat a very versatile boat, whether you're headed to the sandbar to hang out for the day with your friends and family, or you're going out fishing. This boat's gonna check all the boxes. Starting off with the setup back here on the transom, you have either a large area for plenty of casting room or transom seating. Over here we have the transom seating flipped up, nice thick cushions for the back and lower. And then of course you're gonna have your cup holder right here and grab rail for passengers aboard. And then when you need additional casting room, all those cushions stow away without having to take up any space under the head, just like this. The bottom cushion lays down flat, the backrest folds down, and just like that, now you have plenty of extra room for walking around. Built-in rod holders, you have your raw water wash down back here in the splash well so you can rinse off the catch. Now making our way in between the two transom seats, you're going to have one of your two live wells. Light blue lined live well with the LED interior light. Now what's unique about the Boston Whaler brand on all their boats, from their 13 Super Sport up to the 42 Outrage, is that all of their boats are constructed the same. They are 100% foam filled. So what does that mean? That means that you pretty much have a massive Yeti. That means you can use all of your compartments as a uh, cooler or as a fish box. You name it, you can load them up with ice and they will hold ice in there for days. So obviously you can use this as a live well or as a cooler for your passengers. And let's say you're at the sandbar, you're tied up, hanging out with everybody. It's time to head back in. You want to rinse that salt water film off. You have your fresh water wash down right here. Retracts right back in, out of the way. And then here at the reverse leaning post, you have multiple different positions. You can set this at, and underneath the cushion, you're going to have your second larger live well here, light blue lined as well. Makes for a great bait well or cooler, you name it, whatever is going to accommodate your day out on the water. And then, of course, on the back, we're going to have our JL speakers back here, as well as up on the bow. Now, one other thing is gonna be the hard top here. So obviously if you're out fishing, this is a great spot to get out from direct sunlight, let yourself cool down. You got your net up above to store jackets or anything like that. Now we have four rocket launchers back here on the back of the hard top, as well as your ski pylon. Pretty unique feature there. Makes it very easy to go ahead and hook up a rope if you have some friends that wanna do some skiing or wakeboarding. And then note that the bottom side of this hardtop has been painted to match the exterior gel coat on the whole side of this boat. Really just one of those nice touches from Boston, Boston Whaler that makes 
the fit and finish of the overall boat stand out. Now up here at the helm, we got some cool accessories like electronics. We've opted for your Simrad fish finder chart plotter here. And all your electronics are gonna come with these nice covers to keep them protected when the boat is stored. Keep the elements from messing up any of the screens or electronic components. So we have our Simrad VHF radio, awesome feature to have. When you're out fishing, you can go ahead, tune in to the weather station and always be on your toes for whatever the incoming weather looks like. And then of course the JL Media Master 50 that's gonna control the music going to the interior JL audio speakers. Then your Mercury Vessel View, monitoring all of your outboard vitals and systems. And then the Simrad screen. Now down below all of that, we're gonna have our Dauntless dash plaque with all of your labeled light indicated switches with the breakers below. So for your fresh water, nav lights, courtesy lights, bilge pumps, wash down, you name it, all labeled right here for you. I even have a 12 volt receptacle there so you can charge your phone or hook up an air pump. And then a nice glove box here so you can throw those items that you want to keep nice and dry and safe. Now something that's pretty cool that they've done now is they've put this nice Sea Deck uh, console mat up above here. You have plenty of phone chargers up here, USB plugs, even have a wireless uh, phone charging pad up here with the notch to hold your phone in place. And then your uh, nighttime lit compass. And then of course the windscreen that's gonna keep anything that you place up here when you jump aboard, you throw your wallet, your keys, whatever it is, out of your pockets up here. Nice windscreen to keep things from blowing off the dash. And of course anything that you wanna be extra cautious with will go right here in the glove box. Now the throttle on this particular boat, this is gonna be the digital throttle from Mercury. Uh, this is the new rendition. They've done a lot of uh, research and development with this deal and it is really unique. You can do everything from this controller right here, whether it's start and stop the boat, trim up and down, you have your throttle only button, you even have your profiles for the active trim. So this boat does have the active trim setting and what's unique about that is that you can go ahead, set it in the active active trim setting, and when you go to accelerate, it will automatically trim to the right angle that's appropriate for the speed that you're headed in. And then when you go ahead and deaccelerate, it'll go ahead and trim back down for you. So you don't ever have to worry about trimming up and trimming down um, when you're out there on the water. It does all of that for you. So it's a really smart technology here for Mercury Marine. So let's come up to the bow. This is probably one of my most favorite areas of this boat. It's gonna be the setup now on the 250 Dauntless up here with this nice large lounger here. Check it out. You got plenty of room for your passengers to sit back and relax while you're out there cruising the waters. Flip down armrest on both sides. Now look at the yacht-like finish here on all the hardware throughout this boat. This is just something that you're not gonna see on any of your other boat manufacturers. I mean, the amount of detail that goes into building a Boston Whaler boat is unbelievable. They really take pride in building the best quality boat. It's not something that's gonna be built to last for a year. They build them to last a lifetime. Just look at the hardware throughout all the latches here, stainless steel shocks, the hardware that it mounts to, the finished out, underside, the recessed screws filled in with life caulk. I mean, they just really take their time building the best quality center console that's possibly out there on the market. Now look at the amount of storage down in here. You got plenty of room for dive tank racks, uh, inflatables, jet life jackets, you name it. And after all that stuff's in here, you still have room for your rods. The tips will slide through here into the console right here on this sea deck pad is where the butts of your rods will sit and then you'll slide them through the bungee system here that'll keep them in place from moving around and getting tangled up lines 
Now up on the bow, of course, we have to have a very versatile bow for a hybrid boat like this. We have flip up backrest right here, which is really cool. Passengers up here can sit up here. They have their stainless steel grab rail with built-in cup holders. Check that out, built-in cup holders right here. You're gonna have your trolley motor plug up in the front. And then notice the design of the hole up here. They have recess cleats down, so they're not extruding above the deck. So when you're walking around, you're not gonna catch your toe on anything like that, as well as the docking lights. And then, as I said before, if you're not going out there, just headed to the sandbar to hang out, and you're doing some serious fishing, all these compartments can second as fish boxes. They all have their built-in drains, anchor storage or fish box or cooler, whatever you want to call it, up here in front of the other compartment. Just an abundant amount of storage space in this 250 Dauntless. Well, folks, those are just some of the really cool features aboard this 2024 Boston Whaler 250 Dauntless. Folks, if you're interested in scheduling a viewing to come see this boat or get a test drive, feel free to contact me at 210-301-2507. Again, I'm Vic LaPlaca with Marine Max in San Antonio. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you out on the water. And don't forget, like and subscribe.